Bonjour! Buenos dias! Magandang umaga! Welcome to my Chamber of Chakras and thank you for joining me on another episode of Astro Affirmation for May 3rd, 2024. Yes, it's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend, weekend. Yes, Frigg, the married woman, Freya, the single lady, and Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, and pleasure. Vibes, the frequency of Friday. Yes, the planet Venus is at home in comfortable Taurus. Yes, it's my symbol that I drew for Taurus season. And here's the glyph for Taurus. Yes. Oh, yeah. Venus is at home. That's her home sign, Taurus. Libra is also Venus's home sign, but we're on Taurus season right now. Yeah, so the moon, though. Hello, Luna. Yes, the moon is in the spiritual sign of Pisces, while the sun is in Taurus. Yes, Taurus season feels so good to me. Oh, yeah, I love spring. And the moon is a waning crescent now. Here's our Ouroboros lunar chart, right? There's eight phases in one lunar cycle. And the Ouroboros in the shape of an eight symbolizes a cycle, okay? So right now we're in the waning crescent stage, which is right here. Okay, we're approaching the new moon that's coming up next week, next Wednesday, May 8th. Okay, and it's a new moon in Taurus. So both the sun and the moon will be in the same sign of Taurus on Taurus season. <laughs> yes, so the waning crescent phase is a time of release, letting go. It's a time of rest and rejuvenation, okay? Waning crescent. Yes, through reflection, regeneration, and relaxation. Perfect day, Friday. The emotional tone that we set on Monday, right, was called to action on Tuesday, workshopped on Wednesday, expanded on Thursday and now at the end of our hero's hike we have reached our goal of becoming a truer version of ourselves as we learn something new about our truth and purpose every day we are remembering the mission we came here on earth for by knowing God as we know ourselves, right? To know our true, authentic self. Day by day, day by day. Oh dear Lord, three things I pray to see thee more clearly. Love thee more dearly, follow thee more nearly, day by day. Yes, that is a song by Robin Lamont. But originally it was attributed to St. Richard of Chichester. Yes, my brother El and I sang that in the choir at Epiphany Catholic Church in South El Monte. Yay, South El Monte. That's one of my favorite Christian songs because it's a prayer. Yes, oh dear Lord, three things I pray, three things I pray. Yeah, it's a prayer of righteousness, you know. I love it. So anyway, today, Friday, 
embrace the Venusian vibes of the day and feel the surrounding energy of serenity. Serenity now. Use all your senses to rest in the tranquility of the peace in your heart for having done all you can to achieve awareness and expansion of consciousness. Okay? Be calm. Relax. Knowing that God got your back. Yes. God got your back. Secure yourself in your faith that God knows what he's doing and he is ultimately in control. So fret not. The Bible says in Philippians 4, 6 through 7, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Yeah, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, our Lord and Savior, tells us, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. That's in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 20. The verse reads that, like this, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen? Amen. So find comfort in knowing that you are never alone. Whatever it is you're going through, you are never alone. You are not alone. I am here with you. Though we're far apart, you're always in my heart. You are not alone. Yes. The spirit world is all around us. Our loved ones who have departed this world is watching over us like a cloud of witnesses, angels supporting us, guiding us, and helping us in our trials and tribulations in this life on this earthly plane of existence. As we are all connected in this great big circle of life. Through despair and hope, through faith and love, till we find our place on the path unwinding. In the circle, the circle of life. On that note, let's sing our theme song for 2024. Come on, y'all. Sing with me now.
for singing with me. I needed help. Yes, I'm a little bit hoarse today. <clears throat> I don't know if you noticed. So let's have a little coffee talk, shall we? Yes, grab your cup of whatever and let's spill some tea. Yes, I got my angel cup given to me by my brother, Danam, for a day such as this, crown chakra days, right? Don't you love the angel wings handle? And then look at the color, the iridescent color that reflects off of the white background. I super love it. And I got my raisin bread toast with butter and sprinkled with sugar and cinnamon to eat with my coffee. Mm. It's hard to eat now that I'm old because my teeth are so weak. But I managed, because I look at it on the bright side, you know. I get to chew my food longer, uh, so I'm able to savor the flavor of the food. Yeah, I, I derive pleasure from eating. But anyway, I also have a banana. That's what I had for breakfast. Yeah, for my solar plexus chakra for some personal power, right? Yeah, so <clears throat> I got some good news and some bad news to share with you today. The good news is the man's colonoscopy result showed that the polyps found in his intestines are benign. The bad news is, Papa, my dad, has cancer in his lung. Yeah, so I'm praying fervently that it has not spread and that it can be surgically removed with the least amount of trauma yeah. Please help me pray. At this point in his life, I mean, he's 91 years old. You know, enjoy the life you have left. Enjoy every moment of the day while you can. That's what I do. I mean, imagine, you know, he's lived since 1933. Imagine living from 1933 until now, 2024. For one thing, <clears throat> he experienced the exponential advance in technology, right? Like from a rotary housebound telephone to a cellular mobile phone, right? He was able to be here for that. Black and white TV, you know, going from black and white TV to Technicolor and now HD with unlimited channel streaming with a tap of a finger. All you gotta do is tap your finger, right? Oh yeah, Papa lived a full life and a bag of chips. So he needs to cash those chips, stop worrying, and have some fun. You know? Yeah, when I talked to him yesterday, I sang this song. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry, be happy now. He was bugged. 
anyway. But you know what I'm saying, right? It's like time to check off items on your bucket list before it's too late. My mom, Mama, is what we call her. She passed away from cancer, too. She passed away from adenocarcinoma of the liver, liver cancer. And she was only 69 years old. That's only six years away from my age, because I'm 63, right? Papa's bucket list has only one item on it. You know what it is? Live up to 110. Yeah, <laughs> that's his dream, to live up to 110 years old. Can you believe it? I can't. I just can't. I'm dead. Yeah, imagine how he would look, you know? Imagine how he would look like by then. <laughs> it gives me the heebie-jeebies. Anywho, yeah, so the ruling chakra today, as you might have suspected, is the crown chakra, y'all. And I got my crown here. My brother, Norman Danam gave me this for my birthday but i can't figure out how to pin it on there so it doesn't fall off it's hard with these nails you know but anyway yeah the crown chakra the sahasrara the purple lotus flower with thousands of petals the center of a million rays, the sun center of the holy trinity of chakras. Where's my visual for that, right? Crown, third eye, Bindu chakra, holy trinity, right? The sun center, the moon center, the third eye. Okay, the holy trinity of chakras it's the highest of the seven primary chakras in our core right the seventh spinning sphere of energy in our spine that connects our being to our higher self and god the divine door that opens to receive downloads of inspiration while expanding consciousness towards infinity for enlightenment. You dig? I'm wearing this shimmery violet blouse that my late baby brother, Alexis, gave me for for my birthday, I think it was, several years ago, right? Love it. Yeah, Alexis passed away two years ago now, but um, yeah, he passed away from congestive heart failure, but he had such a big heart, so generous with his time and energy, yeah, and thoughtful of others' needs. And when he gave me this blouse, I couldn't believe it. I know, I must have told you this before. But when he first gave it to me, it looked so tiny. See how small it was? See, this is the tag that came with the, the blouse, right? You see how tiny that blouse is before she put it on? Yeah. So I was like, how is this little infant shirt going to fit this large, voluptuous body? But then I put it on and look, <laughs> like magic, <laughs> fits like a glove. I'm wearing it over my lavender shirt. Let me see. Because it's, it's overcast today and cold. Kind of chilly here in IE. Yeah. I couldn't see any blue in the sky when I was out there on the balcony this morning. 
no, but Lavender, that white rooster next door, she was, he, right? He was crowing the sun to come out. But to no avail. Yeah, the sun suffocated by a thick, damp blanket of clouds that covers the canopy over the big blue house. Yeah, it looks like rain this weekend. So <clears throat> anyway, the color of the crown chakra is pale purple. I think it's because of its proximity to the third eye, which is indigo, right? Or deep purple and the soul star chakra, which is bright white, right? The the blend of white and purple makes the color of the crown chakra, like the color of my mandala. Right here, see, this is my mandala for the third eye and crown chakra. Third eye is indigo, and this is the color of the crown chakra, pale purple, right? Isn't that lovely. Yes. So pale purple like amaranthine, right? My lilac colored unicorn, flying unicorn. <laughs> Say hi, amaranthine. Hello. Yes, wear purple, pale purple to open, activate, and balance. The crown chakra. Yes, so and then you saw my my regal robe, right? I crocheted. This is a flower of life design by Karen. I um, it was my favorite thing to do was to was to watch Karen's tutorial to make this flower of life blanket, which I turned into a shawl. Well, I call it my regal robe because this one has. Um, five sides. It came out a pentagon instead of a hexagon. Yeah, but I still like it because it makes a really good cape. You know, like when you fold the top to make it into a collar like this. So it's like a collar, right? Yeah. That goes in the back. Like this. Yeah. It's like a like a robe. Right? Yeah. Remember that song that's taught in elementary school to help students, children? Remember the colors of the rainbow? It went like this. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. It was the color of the rainbow. Remember that song? Yeah, but that's only six colors, right? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. There are seven visible colors in the spectrum. So what they did was indigo, they combined the colors indigo for the third eye and violet together, right? Because if you also remember another um, associative learning memorization type of teaching is Roy G. Biv. Right? Roy G. Biv. Red, orange, yellow, and then G, green, that's the middle initial. Biv, blue, indigo, violet. Word association to remember the colors of the rainbow. So, <clears throat> anyway, purple, like this flower I showed you this yesterday. It's a pen, the purple flower. Got that from a hairdresser back in the day when I used to do shit, 
to my hair. But anyway, yeah. And also like this yarn that I used to crochet another Wild Blooms mandala designed by Wizard of Loops. I'm gonna take this off because it feels like it's slipping off of my head. I don't have it clipped on. But anyway, yeah, I'm currently attaching it to this 14 inch hoop. See, this is how I attach it. See? Attach it like that. You just single crochet across and then attach the corners of the mandala. Right? You get what I'm talking about. It's hard to do this standing up and trying to be in the camera. But anyway, yeah. I thought I'm going to use a thinner yarn to see if it would spread better, like, you know, stretch out better. So we'll see. I will show you that when it's complete, when it's on the frame, okay? Maybe Monday. So, yeah. The Crown Chakra color is as ambiguous as that last band of color in a rainbow. You know, have you ever stared at, at that highest band on a rainbow in the sky? Like after it rains, it's really good, you know, and you look up at the sky and there's a rainbow. Have you ever sat and just like try to decipher the color of that last band, the highest bow? on a rainbow. Yeah, I, I have. I try to like decide what color is that last band, the outermost bow on the rainbow. And I went cross-eyed. It's like, you know, my eyes were going like that. And I'm like, is it purple or pink, you know? And then it would disappear like white light and then come back again violet yeah try it one of these days give it a try but some people say the color of the crown chakra is white yeah like i forgot to bring the white flowers that i was going to show you today but my lilies they're calla lilies they have bloomed they're all over the front and backyard of big blue and also these little tiny flowers that open up when the sun's out yeah white flowers yeah so i'm wearing this pearl necklace that my brother norman gave me for crown chakra days right my bracelets right? they're white yeah but actually white is the color of the soul star chakra it's a brilliant white color. The, the soul star chakra is right on top of the crown. I don't know if you can see, see it in this illustration. Yeah, but these two chakras, the crown and the soul star chakras, are so connected that they're one. They're like one, just like the root and the earth star, the root chakra and the earth star chakra. Yeah, one is the extension of the other, right? The plug and the outlet, the antenna and the frequency get small. <laughs> Yeah, so the crown chakra spins about two inches above the top of the head, connecting the ethereal body, right, to the divine dimension, while the soul star chakra is the heavenly realms where our higher self meets with God 
and becomes one with the cosmos. At least that's how I understand it. But I invite you to do your own research and I welcome your findings and feedback here. You know, put it in the comments below the videos. Yeah, so the soul star chakra, right? Extends enlightenment to the Akashic records. You know what Akashic records are? They're collection of all consciousness from eternity to eternity. Okay, so like it's like the database of all information that's ever been. Okay, everything, all thoughts, ideas, um, whatever collective consciousness or collective consciousness and collective unconscious everything that's ever been is and will be okay that's the akashic records and the soul star chakra is our access to it okay needless to say the crown chakra then right two inches above the top of the head is the gate to God. While the soul star chakra, which is on top of the crown chakra, is the place of God. Beth El, okay? Known as the seat of the soul because it's the point where divine love and spiritual energies enter the body. On my chakra chart here, I connected the crown chakra with the mercy seat of God on the Ark of the Covenant, you know, in the Holy of Holies of um, Moses' Tabernacle of God. You can find it in the Old Testament, um, how God instructed Moses to build this tabernacle right that they can it's mobile so they they're wandering around in the desert so they have to move it with them it's mobile right just like that's why i said that that tabernacle that god instructed moses to build externally is actually a projection of what's going on inside of us like god is telling us this is that invisible force within you Okay, it's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the mercy seat of God, right? Where we receive forgiveness and grace, the mercy seat on the lid of the Ark of the Covenant, the meeting place of God and man is the soul star chakra. Yeah. See how I put a rectangle to show the different parts of the tabernacle of God that I corresponded with each chakra. I don't know if you can see the labels that I put on top of each of the chakra, the different parts of the tabernacle of God, right? The gate and the brazen altar, the labor of water, the menorah, the lampstand, and here is Jesus, right? Jesus Christ, the sacred heart of Jesus. Here's the showbread, the word of God, the third eye, the altar of incense, and the crown, the ark of the covenant, the mercy seat of God, which is right on top. Of the crown, the soul star chakra, the mercy seat of God, right? Yeah. The crown chakra tunes into, because like the crown is, I equate it to like antennas to tune into the soul star, which is the place of God, right? The meeting place of God and man. You dig? I hope so. So anyway, where's my... Trans Wando Transfiguration. 
Okay, here is a symbol of the crown chakra on my chakra shawl. Okay. <clears throat> it is a purple, actually it's white against a purple background. It's a white lotus flower with thousands of petals that represent expansion of consciousness towards enlightenment. Okay, the complete awareness of all there is, pure consciousness. Okay, the mantra for the crown chakra is Om. Om or Aum. I like to chant Aum because it stretches out the vowel sound which quickens my body to quiver. Yes, um, and the hand position is the pinkies together and up and then the rest down like this. Okay. Um, so breathe in. Um, and at the exhale chant, <clears throat> okay? That helps clear the crown chakra to open and tune into the higher frequency of spirituality, divine love, compassion, and wisdom. Okay? So open, activate, and balance the crown chakra by wearing purple or white. Connect with your higher self and God at the soul star chakra. The mercy seat of God, right? But don't get so heavenly minded that you're no earthly good. Anchor yourself. Okay? Anchor yourself, your body, by grounding your root and earth star chakra. to earth, reach for the stars with your feet firmly planted on the ground, okay? Make sure you're connected to Mama Gaia, okay? Latch on to Mama Gaia, turn that power on, right? Power up your lightsaber, mm -hmm. yes, and may the force be with you. Now here are some Bible passages to reflect on. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. Jeremiah 29, 13. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. God talking to us. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Psalm 119, 105. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Matthew 6, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. That's all I have for you today. Have a great weekend. And as usual and always, I honor God in you and me. Namaste.